A recently published study has revealed that as many as 50% of the police killings in the United States since the year 1980 may have gone uncounted as actual police killings. This new report was published in the medical journal, the Lancet, which is a very well-respected medical journal. They've looked at all the data. They've looked at death certificates. They looked at police reports. They looked at coroner's reports and they found that roughly 55% of the deaths in the United States since 1980 at the hands of police officers were actually not recorded as such on the official death certificates of the individuals that the police killed. And this amounts to roughly 17,000 people killed by police, but not counted in the official numbers. And the reason why is even more disturbing. They point out the fact that these coroners, you know, the medical workers who have to treat these individuals, they work hand in hand with the police offices. They work hand in hand with the sheriff's offices and 22% of them have reported being pressured to change the cause of death on death certificates in the past. 22% have said that, yes, I have personally been pressured to change someone's cause of death by these damn police officers in the United States. Obviously this is a problem that disproportionately affects people of color in the United States as black people are three and a half times more likely to be killed by a police officer and Hispanic people in the United States are also more likely than a white person to be shot or killed otherwise by a police officer. So we have this epidemic of police violence that we already knew about. And a lot of the reason we know about these cases now is because people are filming them. We have the body cam footage. We have cell phone footage. We have security camera footage. You think back just 10 years ago, we didn't have all this. Sure as hell didn't have it 20, 30 years ago, or even 41 years ago, all the way back to 1980, you know, when the deaths really started to be covered up. So they don't even really know if the 17,000 cover up is an accurate number, because it could be far more than that. Furthermore, when we see these videos, the cell phone footage or the body cam footage of these cops, just murdering people, how many have we not seen even today? That's the big question, right? How many of these have no camera footage anywhere? And so a police officer, their sheriff, their Lieutenant, whoever it is, walks into the corner and says, Hey, I know you got this person on the slab right here. Um, I don't think he was choked. I think, uh, I think it was probably a heart attack. I don't think it was the knee on the neck. I think it was, you know, they were pumped full of drugs. So if we could, uh, you know, make that the official cause of death here, it would certainly make all of our lives easier. Right? Right. Good buddy. You want to go out for a drink after this? That's what happens. It's what happens in the United States. It's sick. It's twisted. It's disgusting. And it's just further proof that I don't think we can reform these police officers because the corruption is ingrained in the institution itself. If reform were possible, I would support that wholeheartedly. But at this point, it may be time to just straight up tear it all down and start over with something that actually looks like real justice and not a bunch of wannabe vigilantes walking around killing criminals because that's all they know how to do.